everybody, Gaming Magic 13 here, and welcome back to some more new Super Mario Brothers. We were earlier today at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We took on the first half of the Lava World, and in today's episode, we're going to be taking on the second half of the Lava World, diving into, liter literally diving into World 8 4. That's a go. Now, this is, as you probably were able to tell, a water level. So. And it's a water level that takes place entirely in the dark. Now, in this section, literally everything is going to get thrown at us. L literally, pretty much, like, these guys we haven't seen since World, since World 6. I think it would have been pretty cool if in World 8 they brought back every single enemy we've ever faced off against. But... No, they didn't do that. I feel like that was a big missed opportunity, but maybe maybe there was a reason they didn't do it. Anyway, Starcraft number one is over here. I recommend bringing this light with you for simplicity's sake. I didn't mean to do that. Nope. Throw. Okay, I actually intended to throw light at you, but... Oh, throwing light at you does work. Okay. So, let's... Do that again. And... Okay, that was odd. It's got an email. Check. Check my email. Alright. Let's do this. Eh. Take them all out with the power of light. With the power of light! And now we've skipped over basically this entire first section. We don't want to do that. We really don't want to do that. We want to get the second star coin. And in order to get the second star coin... Wait, is it right here? Where be second star coin? Over here? No? Oh, that's right, there's three parts to this level, not two. So, basically, in order to get through this first section, jump up here to get the first star coin and use light to kill all the enemies in your path. Makes this first section infinitely easier. Fortunately for section number two, they give you a little bit more light, which is good because there's nothing no one's trying to throw anything at you, unlike in the previous version of this. Now, to get the second star coin, we have to break all these wood things. Unfortunately, this also means setting all the bloopers free. So, at a price, let's get this star coin. That's what I thought. I think I want to retract my former statement about how I said that World 8-3 was my least favorite level. This is definitely my least favorite level. What? Without a doubt in my mind, it is. And everything. Level design. Everything about it. And I used to- I used to- Game, I praised your water levels. Now you throw this at me. Come on now. Okay. Let's see what we can do. One or two things is gonna happen here. Either I'm gonna get mauled to death by the bloopers. Oh! Okay, nope, change my mind. Run away, grab the blooper, and run the heck away. Oh dear. Okay, you know what? We lost two layers. Oh, bad. Go away, green things. Oh, more bloopers. Why are there more bloopers? Nope. Not dealing with that. Please move. Please, please, please move. I need, I need to get to the pipe. The pipe. The, the pipe. The thing you are currently blocking. Come on. Move. Nope. Jeep, jeep. No, bloopers go away. Bloopers, no. Okay. Oh. I forget if they're... Ah, uh, who is it this time? Okay, now we're back here. We're gonna try not to die. No, 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 no. Not, not today, sir. Let's try not... Okay. That unintentionally blasted me into the third star coin, but it's underneath that top left pipe. I believe that's the end of this level. Wait, is there... can I just... Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, one, two, and one up.
Now, this next level is relatively simplistic, but it has but it has one huge flaw, which is also its entire gimmick that we've seen multiple times throughout this series. What is it, you ask? Well, the two worst things combine into one. Three, actually. But bombs falling from the sky, platforms that you control, that you can move on, and a steady motion camera. What's the problem this time with the self-moving platform? Well, it's your only means of transport throughout the entire level. It's how you will get star coins. It's how you will beat the level. It's how you will move from one point to the next. There is no solid ground to move on other than this one little platform. The only other way you can get a star coin, and the only other way you can get the second star coin, in fact, is by letting up a bomb fall onto your ship, keep it, or let it fall. Don't actually let it fall, it's a bad idea. Keep it with you for as long as you can, and then, when the time is right, which is past this midway point, you throw it into the second star coin, kind of like the barrel in the frozen world in world F er, in level 3 3. <clears throat> I don't hate this level, really. I don't think it's a cool concept. I just think it's incredibly annoying that the only way you can traverse the level is what this freaking, uh, throw it into the second star coin, is what this freaking, uh, the, the platform that you control yourself, which, you know, I'm fine with the whole embracing the motion controls thing, I just think that right here, they could have done better with it. Anyway, the third star coin is also pretty easy to get, although it wouldn't be if you were on a platform that moved itself. Oh, hey, remember these buzzards from, uh, the ghost house last episode? Yeah, well, they're back and they're here to cause an even bigger problem for you this time than they did last time, because... Although again, that's not that big a deep, that's not that hard considering the fact they didn't cause a problem for us last time. I just said they would cause a problem for us. Well, now they're here to cause that problem that I was talking about. I knew I remembered them hating them from somewhere, and they just introduced them to you last episode, or in the cloud world, to try and warm you up for their true final form in this episode. So with a running start, you can easily grab the third star coin, and from here it's just a case of staying alive until the end of the level. Which, with these buzzards, isn't that is actually pretty easy. Assuming you're not at level 1 Mario, because then it's not easy in the slightest. Oh shoot, that's not good. Oh wait, hang on. From here, you want to keep your remote le level and move into the red pipe as Mario. Now we've only got one more level before the f or two, technically. One official level, one unofficial level, will be that being 8-7, before the final Bowser Jr. boss fight. So, and this next level is one that I'm not going to use a propeller head for. I'm going to save that for the final boss. Okay, uh, is there anything I can use? Nah, you know what? I'm just going to go in without a power-up. without a power up. Okay, now the gimmick in this level is that the lava is consistently rising. Kind of a vertical version of the... The, the cloud thing from the first level last earlier today. Oh boy, here we go. Another reason I didn't want to use a power a propeller head for this level is that you, they, you, they give you one. Now all the star coins in this level are pretty easy to get, especially like as long as you have a propeller head. As long as you have a propeller head, they're all incredibly easy to get. And since they give you the chance to get a propeller head, it's definitely an easy level to get star coins in. And I, yes, I realize that I haven't gone back to Princess Peach's castle to buy any of the, any of the guide videos, but I, I, I will at the end of this, oh shoot, I, how did I miss that? Well, I guess I'll be playing through this level again. Because now we're above the point of no return. Um, but, I, at the end of the, sp at the end of... Once we beat the final boss, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back to Princess Peach's kingdom, go back to her castle, and buy the tip video- buy the- er, uh, buy, quote-unquote, we're not actually spending any star coins. It- that's actually a weird- I'll talk about it a little bit more when we get to the castle, but... They say spend your star coins, but you just have to have the correct amount. It's not- it's like you show your ticket to the guy, and then he's- and he doesn't take the ticket, he just looks at it and says, mm, go ahead. Because um, you, they're not getting taken out of your inventory, as long, but as long as like, you have it in your inventory, you can still get the guide videos. I never understood that part. 
Anyway, as long as you have a head, you can easily zip right up into this pipe, which is the end of the level. Now I will be going back through this level to get the second star coin, but because you guys already saw how to get the second star coin, I will see you in war in level 8-7. Alright, that is... Oh, that's that level done. Now we can move on to world 8-7. And see that we have to go all the way back, which means we might end up fighting these guys again unless I time perfectly. Go, 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 made it. I don't know how I timed that so perfectly. Hop across here to get it under the fire dudes, and then back then to 8-7, we go. As I was saying, you don't control where this thing goes, it controls where you go. And it's kind of a fun thing to do because it, it does sort of simulate a roller coaster. It doesn't go upside down or anything like that, but it does simulate a roller coaster, except you do have to jump to avoid the obstacles in and we're up a little bit of a mini crank hill here. And then right down we go again. This level is especially fun with four players. Oh, jump over, over again. Right, here we go. We're on a roll over once more. Here we go. Ah, made that pretty easily. We haven't gotten a star coin yet, but that's the norm because the, you aren't supposed to be able to get a star coin as of yet. But there, you will be able to get one right in this section. In fact, it's on one of these little loops you have to jump over the lava. And by lava, I don't mean the lava burst. I mean the actual bits of lava that you have to jump over. And then the star coin is actually in this dip right no, not this dip. The next dip. You gotta go down as far as you can and then at the very last second jump up to grab it. Because when you're normally doing this, your instinct is to jump up as soon as possible. But when you're playing when you're playing this level, also there's a little bit of a oh I thought there was a secret area up here. Darn it. When you're playing this level, you or when you're going for that star coin, you want to make sure you go as far as possible and then dip dip up at the last second to make sure you can grab the star coin. Speaking of star coins, there's one right here. Simple jump will get you to that one. For the final star coin, though, you are going to need to stay on the bottom. Oh shoot, I missed one. The bottom roller coaster car as far as long as possible, so that you won't get confused. You're gonna get the option to split between two here. Should be coming. That should be coming up. Oh wait. Right, oh, there's a little break in between those sections. Here's a secret area, which this just gives you a fire flower in case you don't already have one. Anyway. Coming up ahead here, we are going to get the choice to choose between two roller coasters. You're gonna want to make sure you stay on the bottom one so that you don't have so that you can actually get the star coin. Jump at the last second to avoid the geyser, and then jump straight to the top. Or from here, it doesn't really matter which one you stay on. Just as long as you keep jumping over the geysers, and then at the last second, you're gonna want to abandon both of them because they both kind of even out. But jump over if you uh, if you're not already at 99 lives to get the one up. It's funny, it still says that you get a one up even if you already have 99 lives. Oh, that is a very fast-paced level. And now we move on to World 8-Ship. <sighs> Here we go. The gimmick in this level is that you have to stand on screws similar to World 1-5, to unscrew the, or to not unscrew, but to get rid of the, to, to open up certain passageways, use the propeller head to spin up here to get, whew, that was close, to get that star coin, and then, to open up the way forth. Another, another gimmick is that they have these little cannon things right here. In fact, in a particular section of this level, you act they actually have you going down one of the... Oh, shoot. Careful there. Going down one of the cannons. Oh, what's this? A platform you control yourself? Nah. Shoot. I wasn't supposed... Nope. Um, there goes our propeller head. No matter, though, because we should be getting ready to roll here pretty soon, right down here into the green pipe. Okay, we are going to get a chance to get up another propeller cap later in the in the level, but it's 
going to be just past the third star coin, which is the only one that we're going to need the propeller cap for. Actually, we know it's just before the before the third star coin, so we're good. We're good. Oh boy. If you need some extra coins, hop up on here and a whole bunch of coins will spin up from the ground. I'm going to collect these actually so that if if I run down the 98 lives, I can easily just you know, collect a few coins, and then I'll be right back up to where I used to be. Actually, I might be able to get a propeller head right... If I use proper wall jump techniques. Got it. Okay. Here, here. Oh, oh, I missed it. I missed the chance. Alright, well. This one, you have to screw up this one in order to move that door. Then spin with this one to move past the door. And then the second star coin is right here. But you have to move quick, you have to move careful in order to avoid the little munchkins. Munchies, Magikoopas, Mecha Magikoopas, I think is what they're called. And I was actually very lucky not to hit any of- wait. Although, I might actually be able to get the star coin without a propeller cap. I have to move fast, though. Move fast, 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 fast. No! Bull. Okay, we're gonna have to use up one of our mushrooms. It's the last straw. Here we go. Oh boy, I don't think I'm gonna get that lucky again. Yes, I am! Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Second star coin collected. Resist the urge to jump up here because the propeller head is just right. Wait, what? Trash. Hmm. There's no other way to get that. Unless... That's how we get it. That's how we get it. But now there's no way to... Unless... Ugh. Okay. This is gonna have to be the fastest movement ever. Spin. Go, 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 go. Waste no time. Grab the Mecha Koopa. Throw it in. Yeah! Oh! Oh my god, how did I do that? Oh my god, that was the most insane throw ever! It rick I don't even know what happened. I think it ricocheted off of something to hit something. But that is how you do that. Oh. Wow, I'm astounded by that. Alright, final battle. Now what we have to do here is we have to lure Bowser Jr. under this ball, ground pound the bot ground pound the ground, so that the the spiky ball shoots up at him. Also, Ice Flower is very beneficial because it can extinguish the flames that he that Bowser Jr. throws at you. Now lure Bowser Jr. over to the spiky ball again and then ground pound into position. Got it. Okay, three times do that three times and he is down. This is a very easy final boss fight. So, just a few more times and then that is it. Go. Oh, put to the. We're on a roll. We are on a roll. No, 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 no. Not today. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. <laughs> D know what? Now, now, now. Yes! Master Jr.'s down. All Koopa Links taken down. That's it. Happy ending, everybody. Oh, what's this? I didn't say anything. What's this? Where are we going?
Sorry, I just had to make that joke because I feel like that's what the I feel like that's what Nintendo was going with here for this. Because that's pretty much what just happened. Sorry, Mario, but your princess is now in another castle. <sighs> okay, here we go. The final, the true final level of su of new Super Mario Brothers Wii. Well, excluding the special world, but here we go, guys. Let's do this. Alright. Now, star coin number one. Wait. Okay, I got it. I had to refresh myself as to where the all those star coins were, because it's been so long since I've played this final level. I know what I'm doing. It's not blind for me, but it's been so long, it might as well be. Okay, hop up here. I just had to refresh myself as to the location of these star coins. The first one is on is just right there in the lava. You're gonna have to be quick. As soon as you hear the ching, jump up onto this platform, then this platform. And then... You know, like, once you touch it, it's gonna go down, which can be beneficial for jumping techniques like this. Now, this level is composed of three stages. The first stage is the main walkway. The second stage is this little elevator ride. And then the third stage is the actual boss fight itself. Which is never an easy... Oh, shoot. There goes my primary method of attack. Now, the second... Star coin is located in this elevator room over there on the right side, I believe. Yeah, it's right there. But there's nothing below it, so you need to be able to wall jump. I was trying to wall jump onto that platform to my right. Alright, back in the elevator scene. Still ice flowerless, but we don't need an ice flower in order to do this. Okay, let's wait for the right moment to grab. Star coin. We gotta save the platform we need. Wall jump! Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, we're good, we're good. Now we just gotta stay alive, which is the easier part of this. I know, staying alive. What's that? Shocking. Alright, we're gonna get a Fire Flower before we fight Bowser. Fortunately, though, they give you a checkpoint right before you fight Bowser. Which is good, because Bowser isn't exactly easy to beat. But he does work, but he primarily does work like any other boss fight where you jump on the thing behind him. However, you can lose all your power-ups in this section before you even get to Bowser. So unless you are confident in what you're doing, I recommend you hide in these little di dips right there. To avoid the fire, the fireballs. Oh, look at poor old Peach up there. Okay, I'm actually gonna pause right here so I can explain what we have to do. You can either try and take him down with fireballs, which is possible. You just need to use a lot of them. I don't recommend doing it though, because a you lose the special effect and the nostalgic feel, and B, it's extremely annoying and you more than likely will lose your fireballs, period. So what I recommend doing is waiting for him to jump up into the sky so you can dive under him and hit the switch beneath, switch on the other side of him. Yep, like I said, there's my fire flowers lost. Jump, 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 go! Oh, shoot, bad, 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 bad. Okay. Ba-ba! Oh, you poor, poor Princess Peach. That was sarcasm, by the way. Because Magic Who was back at it with her tricks, and this time... Hey, Bowser! How you doing, buddy? Now, I'm going to try and... Uh, um, beat this boss first try, no deaths. I don't think that's... I don't know if that's going to happen, but I hope it does. Because I really don't feel like having to try and beat this or play through this more than once. But this is a very rigorous boss fight. And who is emailing me now? And once we get to the lava section, it's going to be difficult. However, 
So we still haven't gotten the third star coin yet, because why? Because the third star coin is in the middle of this battle. It's right over there. Hey, friend! Okay. Duck. Jump. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Jump up here. Grab third star coin. Got it. We got it. We got it. All right. Here we go. We're on a roll. We have 99 lives as well, which means we're going to finish the main game with 99 lives. I'm content with that. Oh, boy. Here we go. But if we don't have a propeller head, this isn't this section right here isn't exactly going to be easy. Fortunately, I do think they give you one in this block right here. Yes, they do. Lucky me, lucky us, think the game. Now all we have to do is just kind of move through safely but, safely but surely, avoiding the lava spikes, traversing the platforms, using, the, using our propeller spin to maneuver through, and being careful, most of all. Avoid the Mario-seeking missiles, and don't go down when there's a wave incoming. Because you more than likely will not survive. You will more than likely get hit, and it's not worth the risk. Stay high, unless you are 100% certain you will land on something and not get hit by the lava. Because this is such a dangerous section, it's not even worth the risk. But there's Princess Peach right there. And I don't- oh. I didn't li I don't like to hit the button right away. I like to just kind of let Bowser come to me, thinking he's won, and then hit it the last second. But- Either way. Guess what, guys? We beat the main game. That's what it dropped the bombshell there, Peach. I love this final music, by the way. This is one of my favorite tracks in the entire game. So I'm gonna try and run through my reflection real quick here. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. New Super Mario Bros. Wii is a great game, without a doubt, okay? You know, it definitely does feel like that Nintendo returned to the roots of the series with gameplay mechanics that definitely strongly resembled the original trilogy, and it's a nice mixture of the concept of the original side-scroller with the atmosphere of one of the more modern-day games like Super Mario Galaxy. The 3D graphics do create a 2.5D effect, and the side-scroller concept works exceptionally well. You know, a lot of people say, oh, it's, it's all dying, it's all new 3D, Super Assassin's Creed, whatever, 1080p, 4K, whatever, whatever. But I like the classics, personally. Hey, do you remember when uh, Nintendo released a game for the DS called, um, New Super Mario Brothers? Just that, just that. Well, this isn't exactly a port of that, but it, I would say it did, I don't own a DS personally, but I have seen gameplay footage of it, and with the exception of the Mega Mushroom, it definitely did take bits and pieces from it. And this game does bring back that original style from, I think, two decades ago, and it definitely introduces new gameplay mechanics that just wouldn't have been possible on the gaming hardware back in the day. Like, as we saw today, tilting platforms over lava, amazingly, brilliantly rendered lava, by the way, uh, absolutely stunning and yet infuriating cloud effects, 
the incredibly annoying spikes back in some of the towers and castles, and of course, the final Bowser boss fight. Personally, I love the addition of some of the new power-ups they have, such as, you know, the Ice Flower, the Penguin Suit, the Propeller Cap, because none of these were really in the original games, but on the Wii, they work incredibly well, and they, they mesh well with the old style of gameplay, and while also providing a new level of gameplay. For example, the entirety of Waterworld and some parts of the Frozen World are a heck of a lot simpler with the Penguin Suit than it would have been without it, as well as, like, Mini Mario as well. That's very useful. I actually tried to beat- I got very far with that, with, them um, with Mini Mario in the World 7 Tower, the second part of it. I didn't beat it with it, but it, I still got farther than I thought I would have. And as you can see throughout the series, the later worlds posed quite the challenge. A big challenge. From the stupid bombs in the, cl the Cloud World tire Tower, to the Parabetas, para beetles in the Cloud World, to the final level in general, the entire Cloud World, not to mention, don't forget, don't forget about the Cloud World. The game was not easy in the slightest, but it's good that it was a challenge to get through, because, you know, I mean, I'm glad not, I wasn't br brutally hard, but a lot of people, like, a lot of people have noticed places this game once, then go back to get the Star Coins. I guess it's the normal for new players to the game, but for veterans like me, getting the Star Coins along the way is what I consider to be the normal. Besides, it makes the entire process easier because then you can just jump straight into the special world, which we'll be doing tomorrow. And, like, in terms of multiplayer, remember remember the original new Super, Super Mario Brothers? Remember that arcade game, 1983? No? Okay, well the concept was that two brothers worked together to vanquish all the enemies, but that was the last co-op entry for a while. With this game, 4-player co-op brings back that element of teamwork, and it's truly a humorous time if you have- oh. Short credits, I see. I'll finish my reflections after this scene. Progress saved. You will now return to the title screen. From now on, you can save at any time from the map screen, which is good. Now, can I please continue my reflections? Thank you. Oh, one more thing. I forgot to add. Um, now that we have completed the game, I'll show you guys real quick. By the way, I'm gonna have to... Look, how do I get three stars here and one here? Do you get a star from getting for getting 99... I have to look into that, but anyway, time for me to continue my little reflection here. The floor player, co the four player co-op brings back that element of teamwork, and it's definitely a humorous time if you have all four people behind the controllers, which you guys will see in the bonus episode later this year, where I have all four people to play. And as you saw with this walkthrough, though, it also works great as a solo game, as solo gameplay. So even if you're here by yourself, it's still a fun time. But personally, something I think Nintendo could have done: have CPUs enabled. Because that's the way, if the, players if the player wishes to, they can turn on the AI for Luigi, Yellow Toad, Blue Toad, kind of like Halo 5 Guardians. The computers are smart, that way, the com and just make the computers smart enough to act like humans, but not smart enough to carry the player to the end. You know, I don't know, maybe that's just a me thing, but I think that adds to the gameplay tremendously. Anyway, as you know, my walkthroughs serve a few purposes. Help One, helping you guys get through the game if you already have it. Two, Allowing myself a nostalgic trip down memory lane for some games, hopefully cheering a few people- Three, hopefully cheering a few people up. And finally, for four, helping those who are on the fence about buying this game make a conclusive decision. So in my opinion? My opinion is that this is one of the best 2D platformers Nintendo has ever made. Period. I- I definitely would recommend this game to anyone invested- Interested. And I've had a blast replaying through it, despite the painful levels, and all eight worlds have had a new feel to them, a unique touch, all of which will essentially be copied in New Super Mario Bros. U. And I can't, I cannot wait to dive straight into the special world tomorrow. But be warned, if you've made it this far, the special world is nothing like anything that we've ever done up until this point. It is ruthless, incredibly aggravating, and unforgiving around every corner. But if you think you're up for the task, then I'll be doing my best to help you guys through tomorrow. So... Oh, I throw this part, so we need water after this. 
that is going that is going to do it for today's episode of New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Uh, next time we will be taking on the first half of the special world, so I would like to thank you all for watching. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy. L let me know what you thought of it in the comments section down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to stay updated for all content previous, current, and upcoming. But other than that, until next time, I have been Gaming Magic 13 signing off saying I hope you have a phantasmagorical day, and I will catch you all tomorrow for some more new Super Mario Bros. Wii. So goodbye, and I would say enjoy the credits, but they were over a long time ago. So now I'm going to investigate to see why I only got one star here and three stars here. I'm guessing one thing has to do with 99 with um, 99 lives and the other has to do with star coins. But I thought I always got star coins when I played through. Whatever. I'll find out after I finish up recording here. So, goodbye!